Uh, I'm here to follow up on some public information act requests I filed. Okay, any public information will go through Steve Legal, and they can contact you on the information you They start here, but they go through me. Okay. How long does your violence? Monday. Okay, you take 10 business days, and at the end of that, Steve Legal will contact you with the information that you get on there. Okay. Is there a, is there a uh, police officer I can speak to? We have a public information card. No, I need it, somebody with a badge. Uh, we don't have officers in the field. We're all out in the field. Can you call? What exactly do you need? I need to file a complaint. For? For uh, violation of Chapter 552, Texas Public Information Act. Okay. For, with us? Uh-huh. On us? Uh-huh. For what? I mean, you filed, you filed a report. Right. It takes 10 business days to get it back and see the legal has a, to go through them. They will contact you when, you, when they when they get the process finished and give you the information that they can get. Okay, so how does the citizen file a complaint? Y'all don't take complaints or? Yeah, I mean, I, we can do that, but, but, but it, goes, it doesn't go through us because they're sitting legal. Okay. Okay, it's a jailable offense. Can I talk to somebody with a badge? You got a supervisor? Let me see your ID. No. I have to have your ID if you're going to talk to somebody or you can't come in. That, that, that is a law in the state of Texas. Really? Yeah, that's why we have business badges. And for you to go into impact, I have to see your ID. This is a secure area. Well, I don't have to go in and talk to them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you want to see me? No, I wanted to see a police officer. Okay. Uh, I thought I thought maybe at the police department they'd have some police officers. And I've spoken to her. And I asked to speak to a police officer. Well, can you call one of them in to take a report? On the 552 government code, and it specifically says if you have, we have 10 business. Actually, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You need to look at it again because it says you have, we have 10 business days. I tried to explain that to you before, and also when you did not, when you refused to fill out that information on those papers that you gave me, I don't even know who you are. So when I turned it into the city legal department, they basically are just going to have it sitting there because they don't know who you are. I'm here to follow up on it now. I you who are? The statute doesn't only requires that it be in writing. Okay. And then it's specific. There's no way for us to contact you when it's ready and available for you to pick up. Do you not understand that? We need to have contact information for you for you to be able to pick up what you're requesting. Can I finish without being interrupted? Go ahead, but it's still not going to get you anywhere. Chapter 552 says that it must be in writing and it must specifically identify the information requested. That's the only two requirements. There's no requirement on there that I, be, that I identify myself or anything else. Then how would we contact you? I've got the evidence right here that I filed them. I'm here to follow up on it. Okay. It's not available? Okay. I want to talk to a police officer. For what? To file a complaint. On? So there's no complaint <laughs> procedure? No. There's no complaint procedures for the Waco no. Police Department. What complaint do you have? I've already explained to you what happened. That's as far as it gets. <clears throat> How are you supposed to get the information if we have nobody to get the information to? 
I'm here right now. No, sir. You have 10 business days. Yes. Well, you need to go back and read 552. It clearly states we have 10 business days. I've got the law right here. Then you must not have looked, printed out the entire law, sir. You, we have 10 business days. You don't, you don't have it right here. Okay, fine. I want it all. Ooh, I want it all. It's not the complete law. That is what you have printed out. Okay. I don't understand why you're being hard about this. I, I don't understand why you're being hard about this. I, I don't have a problem providing you with the information, but you're trying to hold back and that that's not going to get you anywhere okay. the gentleman does not want to fill this out okay. uh, he, we have no way well, you may not need to I don't even know who he is basically he wants to come in here and get the information and leave he's quoting 552 but he's not quoting all of 552 uh, 552 clearly states we have 10 business days. We have 10 business days to respond. Right. He's not understanding and he wants to file a complaint. The process is that when when somebody comes in to get open open records information, what happens is wh whoever comes in to get it files the request here and then we, if we, we consult with legal. If the information that the person is requesting is, in fact, open, open records information, then we send that information to legal, this, this and legal, the legal department well. this is then contacts the person sure, I'll, I'll who requested the yeah. information. If we don't have the person's information for legal to contact them, then there's no mechanism to get the information to the person requesting it. You see what I mean? Well, that's the dilemma. And I'm sorry, but we Okay. Because um, legal, legal is the one who disseminates the information eventually. Right, even if they're mm -hmm. All we do is we take the request, mm -hmm. we fulfill the request, and we provide it. Because not everything that people request is considered open information. And so what we Thank have to do is legal then contacts the Attorney General's office. Do we wait if, here or if we say that it's not uh, public information. If it is public information, <coughs> then within 10 days, or at the end of 10 days, legal contacts the person and says, we have available the information you requested. So that's the dilemma. It's a, it's sort of, it's just a mechanics mm -hmm. of it. So. Okay. I filed about 150 Public Information Act requests mm -hmm. in the last four years. Okay. With who? With us? N no. I, uh, well, I filed one, but I filed it online, and okay. it was a long time ago. Sure. At, with other government entities. Okay. In there, and the po you know the policy of ten days, mm -hmm. you know, she doesn't want to look at my at what I say the law says. She says I just printed that out. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what what you have. We're going based on what we know the law to be, and you can you can contact the attorney general's office in Austin, and they're going to tell you the same thing. Okay, we we do thousands of these, thousands of them. Okay, I can assure you, you're not the only person requesting public information. Okay. We do thousands of these. We are very intimate, intimately familiar with what the law is. Okay, if there, if you have a complaint about the way we've handled public information, you need to make a complaint to the attorney general's office in Austin. Okay, um, so we're we're more than happy to provide the information, but we have a mechanism in place through city legal as to how we provide that information. So we're not trying to make your life difficult. We're just trying to follow what the mechanics are that we have. And. I'm not trying to make your life difficult either. Yeah. But you know, you're the one who took the oath. Absolutely. To uphold the Texas law. Well, and it, several laws. Actually. Right. And it says that the information will be available promptly. I don't Within think. Within ten days, it's, it's, it's considered. Prompt. I'm not going to argue with you. All right. Okay. That. We have ten days. If you have an issue with that, then you need to take that up with the Texas Attorney General's office. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, we will more than gladly provide the information for you. But we have to have contact information in order to get it to you, because that's the mechanism that city legal has for us. I don't know what else to tell you about that. Okay. So the information will be retrieved from the legal department. Mm -hmm. 
No, we retrieve the information and we provide that to them. Okay. They then contact the person that has provided that has provided the request uh -huh. and gets the information to them. Okay. Um, and so, so they would like mail it or something like that. They they have made all kinds of arrangements in the past. They get the information to the person. So y'all don't fulfill any public information act requests here. We provide it to legal. You provide it to legal. Right. And That's they. The mechanism, right? And they would have the information. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Once we get the request, we do the research. We provide it to legal. We either say we have objections or not. Okay. The okay. Then legal is who I need to contact. Can I get a phone number over there for them? You go over to City Hall. I'll, I'll have the phone number. Sit there at the second floor. Seven five zero fifty six eight. Okay. Um, so, if I think your policy is wrong and you're not going to, I understand you're not going to argue it with me. There's no way to file a complaint. Yeah, sure there is. You file a complaint with the Texas Attorney General's office. They are the ones. They're in charge of all public information in the state of Texas. Okay. They they administer uh, any kind of any kind of sanctions against agencies uh, because all. All government agencies in the state of Texas, and some non-governmental agencies, are required to provide public information. Okay, the Texas Attorney General's office are the ones that provide sanctions if there are going to be any, or responses, that sort of thing, to the agencies. And what they would do is, if they thought that we weren't following the rules, they would contact our legal division, and division, and the legal division would call us and say, "Hey, you need to change the way you're doing business." And we would say, "Okay." Okay. Thanks for your time. Appreciate right. it.